Hi, I'm Shrewboy313 and I'm worried I just shouted that, so if I did, I do apologise. But we're here in Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark, and now at the end of the last episode I did say that I would end the episode outside the taxi- or start the next episode outside the taxi company. I was going to do that but then I realised I didn't actually, you know, take on the quests that were in the Pokemon Centre. So I am quickly going to do that, like, just while I speak you know now and just take on the quests that first one taking on the um break dancers not taking on finding the break dancers i think it's similar to the one in pokemon black and white you know the one where you have to find the dance crew in castelia city that's basically it and now i'll join you up at the taxi company Okay, so I was just like wandering around the city just to get up to the taxi company. I found four of the five breakdancers and I found the woman's house with the Zuppies polka doll. And I did actually find, well, I will say while I was running around, I did actually find the Zuppie itself. So yeah, this is the house literally next door to the taxi company that has the Zuppie woman in it. And for the Zuppie, again, for the Zuppie itself, I was just running up and around here and it's just here by the game corner so now the zuppy should just follow us so we should be able to you know walk back to the pokemon center with it and like I say i am missing one of the what is it one of the dancers like i have no idea where any of them are like specifically I was just aimlessly wandering to try and find the taxi company. <laughs> I knew it was up at the north somewhere, I just didn't know where specifically. And I would have originally just, you know, cut back in at the taxi company, but, you know, I've managed just to do this quest, just like that. There we go. <laughs> TM17 Protect. Am I going to use it? Not likely, but I've got it. Now, I don't remember, did he say that there were just five of them, or that I needed to find five of them? Oh. No, that was it, I found everyone, okay, and you get the quick law for that. Right, now I'll join you back at the taxi company. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're at the taxi company. The boss is back, so, oh, it looks like we can go upstairs now. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say we might have to battle him, like the boss, I don't know. Uh, needs taxi drivers. A taxi can drive you wherever you want, they don't get paid very well so that's why the strike. Okie dokie. Right, what about, <laughs> I was about to say what about later. Uh, what about upstairs is what I was after. Not later, right. Recreation room. Oh. Oh, so we're straight up just battling the taxi drivers. <laughs> okay. Right, so. This has spoiled something. You can see I have five Pokemon. Off screen, I did catch another Pokemon back from Thundrone Pass. And also, during off screen training, Nimblo learnt Lightning Strike. So, I mean, had that Aquad not used Protect, we would have seen what Lightning Strike does. Work. Yeah, apparently, apparently, it's a 75 power, I believe, Gekon, I think we should be alright with Nimblo. Yeah, it's a 75 power, yeah, 75 power electric type move. So, what I'm gathering is that Nimblo just seems to be learning, like, moves of the storm? Because, like, we've got Water Pulse for, like, the rain, and, like, Drizzle for the rain. And then, obviously, Lightning Strike as the Lightning. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Right, Tadart. Was I wrong in thinking that Tadart was Water Grass? No, I wasn't. Okay, sick. And I will say, not every Pokemon on my team is the same level. Like, three of them are level 24, but Budchirp is 23. And the po new Pokemon that I caught is only 22 because I was planning on using it in the gym. But, but what I wasn't planning on was having these battles in the cab rank. 
or the taxi de depot, whatever you want to call it. Cab rank. It's the same basic thing, isn't it? Right, a lot pug. You know what? I don't remember what type lot pug was. So we'll just use Ryzid, the new Pokemon that I caught. Yeah, what it turned out was that Ryzid, I just thought it was electric. Turns out it's electric and ground, so I was honestly thinking, wow, you know, that covers, you know, two of the weaknesses that we didn't have before. So yeah, Ryzid, he now has a spot on the team. <laughs> and I was planning on just like bringing like Rise it out in the gym, but like I said, since we are just here, we're just here and we're battling, might as well bring him out. There we go, we're at the top floor now. Hey y'all! I said no! Why should I raise your wages? You know I need the money for trading my Pokemon. Boss, I know that, but we work hard all day and night, and it would be just a little for all our hard work. And about your Pokemon, why don't you train them yourself? Oh, does he just like, <laughs> does he dump them all in the, what is it, the daycare centre? Hey, it's me, I'm just, I'm just like sneakily stood in the back. You're collecting gym badges to take part in the Rikoto League too. Don't make me laugh. The Rikoto League is not intended for little kids like you. I was about to say, so, are we just going to battle the boss? And also, yes, I did bite my tongue, so that's fun. Right, Clark Lex, or Clerk, however you want to pronounce it, I don't know. I'm from England, it's Clerk, I think. I might be wrong. <laughs> Please don't question me, I don't speak for all of the UK. Right, Platypat, that is water ground, I remember that. I remember trying to use an electric type on it, and then it wasn't effective. Because, you know, in my mind I was like, oh, hold on, glowing, it's just, it's something that was just called glowing, that is, is that not just a noun? I don't know. Oh, it's a moth or a butterfly, whatever. Yeah, in my brain, I was like, oh, a platypus. They're in the water. <laughs> Just, like, not even considering that it was part ground. And this glowing has something that... What is it? Oh, okay, so it's like that, is it? Has something that makes it resistant to flying? Steel? I don't know. Oh my god! <laughs> and this is why I don't like doing things that involve luck, because my luck is horrendously bad. It's like, you know when you play- but you know when you play Pokemon while I'm playing Pokemon, but like, when it's something like confusion, sleep, Things like that. You know, things that last two to five turns, like, when they seem to be inflicted on me, it always seems to be like four to five turns, and I always seem to- there we go, look. We were conf I, th I mean, I don't know how long we were confused for, but it was like three turns of Butcher hitting itself non-stop. <laughs> and that is what I mean by my bad luck. My Pokemon may be strong, but it feels like they don't belong to me. I think I should train them by myself, as I did when I was younger. Well, I guess I have to raise their pay now. And that's just how it works. You, <laughs> If you beat up the boss, then the workers' wages get raised. Please don't take that literally and do not fight your boss. God. Right, so we've got a bike voucher, but I'm wondering, what's the point? Like, I'm saying that because all of the, all of the bikes in the bike shop were display models, so... What's the tea, you know? 
Hi. <laughs> Hello, my name is Buck. I'm one of the taxi drivers in this city. We heard you're the one who got the boss to raise our salaries for us drivers. We feel really grateful for you, and we've arranged it so that you can drive with the Rust Bolt City to- Oh, sick. Nice. You have to go oh, to the right side, turn down and press end. <laughs> That's very specific. <laughs> if you need a taxi, just whistle. And then he just leaves us and there's Rodney again. Oh, is that Rick? Oh, God. I know it's Rodney or Rick, but I don't remember which one. <laughs> oh, there's a cycling path. Okay. Right. But I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that the gym is gonna be open now. Yeah, I mean, I would have crossed the road if had I not slammed my face into a pole. Work. Okay, so the gym's open. Right, where do we want to go? Um, I'll hit up the Pokemon Center first just to heal, and then, and then we'll head to the bike shop, and then we'll go to the gym. It's a whole roundabout thing, I know, but I want to be prepared. <laughs> right. Now, bike shop was next. Uh, bike shop. Sorry, I did just want to actually just stare at all of the places we could go for a second. There was nowhere. There was nowhere that exciting. Hey ladies, bike voucher comes in a few hours. Oh, so to me that suggests, ooh hoo hoo, go fight the gym, maybe it'll be done then. So in that case, let's go fight in the gym. Oh yeah, her name was Electra, that was it. Or their name, I don't know if it's a she, their name was Electra. Ha, you again? Right, is this one Rick? She uses electric types, and they're not weak. I mean, yep, ground or grass types, that is why I went. <laughs> That's kind of why I caught Rizid, you know, for my team, because there was that Rizid trade, and I was like, oh, I know where to find a Rizid. Caught it, saw it was part ground, and I was like, oh, that could be really useful. Right. Now, I mean, grass doesn't technically have an advantage, it's just because it resists electric, isn't it? Oh god, it's a rave, okay. Or a club, maybe not. Not specifically a rave. <laughs> right, okay, we can only walk on these white paths. You've got to win to get the field style. Sure. I imagine... Well, I mean, for one, I'm not surprised that there's a Terras here. What I was going to say is, I imagine that there's going to be probably... Like how... Oh, what's the name? The one from... <laughs> the one from Black and White. You know, the one who... Elisa, or Alessa, like the model. Like, how she had three Pokemon, like, for her electric gym, and two of them were Emolga. So, like, even if you caught a ground type for the gym, like, you couldn't use them. Yeah, I was going to say, I imagined that was going to be the kind of thing that we were going for in this gym. Right. But also, like, this is just a completely separate... Oh my god, I love that! And... I really... Oh, for god's sake. See, I want one of those now. <laughs> right, uh, what was I going to say? Well, I mean, with Seed, I assumed it was going to be- oh my god. I like how they say, ooh, get a ground type, but then the first two Pokemon you fight, one is part flying, the other's part grass. Humz- oh my god. I don't, I don't know, what's a humzing? I mean, that looks like a little bug to me, so I mean, I might still be able to get away with Bulldoze. Right. But what I was gonna say... Oh, it's part flying, okay then. So it's electric fl Oh my god. Right, so it's all about speed then. <laughs> yeah, flying electric. Right, sorry. But what I was gonna say is, 
as this video goes live, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it should be the 25th, maybe? I could be completely wrong, it might be the 27th. I could have just lied to you all, I'm sorry if I did. But as it stands, like, there's a game that's coming out, The Outer Worlds, that basically looks like, for, you know, for lack of better phrasing, Skyrim, not Skyrim, Fallout, but in space. And like, I really want to play it. So I'm wondering if maybe, maybe it'll come to this channel. That is a, like a solid maybe, like there's no promises. Yeah, just because like, I mean originally I looked on it on Steam and it said it was coming out in 2020, so I was like, okay. So like, it's gonna be a while. But then, like just because of who I follow on Twitter, like, I just saw the Outer Worlds Twitter as, like, a suggested one. And then from there, I saw that it was coming out, like, October 25th, 2019. And I was like, what's the tea with that? You know, it turns out that, like, it is coming out on PC. And, like, it is coming to Steam. But it's coming to Steam, Snazap. Oh, which one was that? You know it won't be fine. But it was coming to Steam a year after its general release. So yeah, like, it is being released on PC, but like, only from the Epic Game Store. So in my brain I'm like, I might chance the Epic Game Store, despite fully having, having never used it. <laughs> like, I'll be complete... Oh, no, I'll just run back to the Pokemon Center. Like, I'll be fully transparent, for, like, for my PC games, they are, like, with the exception of, like, one or two, they are all, like, on Steam, and, yeah, like, with the exception of one or two, like, the other, like, one of those two comes from, like, Origin, if I want to play The Sims, like, once every few months. And the others will probably just end up being on, like, a GameCube emulator, because I don't own a GameCube anymore. Or, you know, they'll be like... <laughs> or, you know, it'll just be Minecraft, which is the thing in itself. So, yeah, that was that story. The Outer Worlds may be coming to this channel alongside this series. But as it stands, like... I am going to be away from home, like, for like a week next week, which is like, when I say next week, I mean the week after I'm recording this, and it's like the week after The Outer Worlds comes out. So it's going to be the case of the game's going to come out, but I'm going to be like leaving as soon as it comes out and won't get to play it. So yeah, that was that story for you. There was that really dull story time that no one cares about. Oh, wait, there's Electra. And basically, either way, I am likely going to be playing The Outer Worlds. Maybe not on the channel, but for myself. Right, I do also want to point out, Ryzid has been holding the magnet this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> it's by Electric, why not? And I figure, um... Yeah, Lavenbell's technically the slowest. We might as well give her the Quick Claw just for her to have. Just because all of the other hold items, they don't really benefit her. Oh, and I did also figure out how to rearrange items. Don't remember how I did it. <laughs> it was one thing on the keyboard. I don't remember which. Right. First of all, I'm gonna save before we go into battle. Just in case. Hey! Oh my god. I mean, you could just do like Californian girl at Coachella, like that. This gym is designed as a disco because I just love to dance. Coachella, zero calorie marshmallows. I really like to feel the music move through me like electricity. That's why I love electric type Pokemon. They're strong attackers and they've. Oh, and they fast too, I just missed out the word ah. Right, well, I'd be a fool not to take Ryzid. I'm gonna take Lav and Bell because she won't get decimated, I'm hoping. 
And <laughs> this is where I kind of get stuck because we've got flying, water, and flying. I'm leaning towards Salonip simply because I feel Salonip would be able to hit the hardest out of the three. So that is why I'm going with Salonip. Right. I mean, I realise that even though it's telling you, like, even though we got told to, like, take a ground type, yeah, we're not. We're not really gonna have the opportunity to use ground type attacks in this, are we? <laughs> right. I will say, the fact that Ryzid is part ground type does at least mean that we won't be able to get hit by electric type moves. So charge, in theory, should be useless. Right. Well, I mean, charge isn't useless. It still raises special defense. What am I on about? Right. Eco buzz. That to me sounds like another electric bug type. Uh. You know what? I don't want a buzz seed anymore because that's. I don't like that as much. Gonna be honest. Oh, I should have. Okay. Um, well, it's grass type and it's probably going to demolish Ryzid. I'm wondering, do I go... Wait, same type attack bonus... <laughs> Sorry, this is like full big brain moment. Same type attack bonus is a 20% bonus. And Bulldoze has 60 base power while Slash has 70 base power. So technically, with the same type of attack bonus, Bulldoze would be stronger by, we're like, even though it's 60, it gets that 20% buff, so it'd be buffed up to 72. But even that too, would that make enough of a difference? When Slash has a high critical hit ratio? I'd screw it, Bulldoze. I'm overthinking this. Ooh, well, it speeds down. Yeah, I'm just gonna get demolished by this, aren't I? Right. I'll try Slash just to see how that does. Even worse, okay. Right, so we. Oh my god. The Lavin Bell. Yeah, Lavin Bell is gonna be my best bet for this one. And it's literally, I'm just gonna have to spam Fairy Wind, aren't I? Yeah, because it's going to use Mega Drain. It's going to keep healing a little bit. So, as long as, as long as she doesn't use a Super Potion, I'm fine. Right, and I'm going to sneakily use this opportunity to revive Ryzid. Just in case. Mega Drain, that's fine. So, we should be alright. I'm hoping. Quick Claw! Hey. <laughs> Even though I'm pretty sure Lavin Bell was faster anyway. Oh my god. So I'm getting the theory that Eco Buzz is just about healing itself no matter what. Because <laughs> I mean, Mega Drain and Parabolic Charge basically are the same thing. Hone Claw. Hone Claws increases accuracy and attack, doesn't it? Um. See, I do like Sand Attack, and I have found it useful. Mm, but at the same time, am I going to use Sand Attack or Hone Claws more? I'll take Hone Claws. <laughs> Simply for the fact that Ryzid seems to be a physical attacker. And that extra, you know, physical power might help. Right. What's a Rush Shot? Oh, it looks like what Zuppy evolves into, okay. Swift. Oh, bye Ryzid. Oh my god, maybe not. Oh my god. Oh lord. Oh, I'm sorry, one HP and then a one shot. Sorry, I also backed up from the microphone. <laughs> okay. We're a little bit ropes for a second, but that's okay. We pulled through. My music stopped. Wow, 
That was an electrifying battle. I loved it. I can see that you and your Pokemon have great rhythm. You have won this. The lightning badge in like three frames a second. Nice. Hello? Oh. <laughs> it's like, is it gonna go away? That's my awesome gym badge! And you also get this. Hey! <laughs> well, lightning strike, luckily, I already know what that does. Yeah, lightning strike, we can actually go to... Hold on. We can actually go to Nimblo. Sorry, I just wanted to rearrange my team, just ignore all of this. We can see Nimblo. There we go, 75 power. Also may confuse the target. Right. But that's that. That is the third gym badge down. And apparently next up is the cycling road. So I mean, I'm gonna... I'm Guinea? Yes, I am Guinea itself. I'm the entire country. We're gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and... Lord, another nugget. That's like 20 grand in nuggets alone. Right, so yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here. So thank you for watching. And just remember that... If you wait too long, you begin to realise that it hasn't started yet. Goodbye!